So first week of peak week and now he decides to go healthy. Green tea and licorice tea. I have my beetroot and my greens powder this morning with my fireball cider. And then I have this. I'm having all my vitamins. And green juice. And you decide to do this for peak week, which I'm glad. Yeah, that's But you could have done it earlier. <laughs> What's up guys and welcome to Peak week. So today is day two of peak week. I didn't film yesterday because it was just literally had check-ins with clients, emails, and just doing like some cardio and some weight. But today I'm going to go get my hair did. So yeah, this week is all about drying out, bringing everything together, keeping my cardio up, and also drinking a ton of water. Looking good, babe. But feeling really good. Looking Abs. really good are still there, which is the main thing. And that's on an empty stomach I haven't eaten this morning. But yeah, let's go get my hair did. All right guys, so I've just gotten home from getting my hair done, I've gone quite dark this time and it feels so good. So nice and healthy. I pretty much didn't take much off the ends because I want to keep it nice and healthy and long and on the day I'm going to wear it straight. So yeah, super happy. So Laura, who is my hairdresser, she is actually vegan and she competes as well. It was good to have a chat with her, catch up with her, and she uses all vegan cruelty-free products on my hair, which I love. But yeah, I'm going to make myself some lunch now because it is lunchtime and I'm hungry. And I'll probably check in with you guys a little bit later because I really want to eat, chill, relax, and just unwind today. So I'll see you guys in a bit. So I'm just getting ready to go to the gym. I am going to go and hit my last leg session for the week. So today is currently, holy crap, what day is it? It's Wednesday. So today is currently Wednesday. So with peak week, there's a few things that are different. And number one is definitely your training that week. Most people would think like peak week with their training, you need to be doing anything and everything to shred before you comp. But to be honest, my point of view is it's totally opposite. I like to wind down my training through peak week. So I'm not doing my double sessions this week. I'm doing my faster cardio every second day. And my last weight session will be tomorrow, which is a Thursday. And the reasoning behind this from my point of view is because I need to get rid of the water and what holds water is stress and inflammation on the body. So what I'm making sure this week is that I'm having a lot more rest, a lot more healing time and letting my body naturally shred the water on its own. And I find when I do have like more rest days or when I'm not going to the gym as often, my body does become a lot tighter and it's not so inflamed and holding onto water. So other things that you can do is have things like natural diuretics. I am currently sipping on a black coffee. So black coffee has always known to be a natural diuretic and it just helps you to dry you out a bit as well. But another thing, that I have been taking as a natural diuretic. So natural diuretic just means that it's a natural supplement or food that helps expel water from the body. One being celery. So I have been making celery juice in the morning with beetroot as well. And another two supplements that I have been taking is dandelion tea. You guys know I have this on and off prep. And I also picked up just a dandelion tablet form as well. So I'm going to be having that this week as well. So there's all types of like myths and pros and cons when it comes to like natural diuretics and doing these things on peak week. To be honest, it's all personal preference like anything in life. Oh, I fell off the couch. <laughs> like anything in life, guys, it's just all about trial and error. I'm just taking them because I feel like I do need to shred more water out of my body. And I feel like if I take these, it will help me. And it definitely is. Like I always say to you guys, just take it one day at a time. See how your body reacts. And if it works, that's the best outcome. So I just had a good little chat with you guys on Instagram. If you guys don't have us on Instagram, I will leave our handle here. And I was just discussing to everyone about, because I did used to suffer from anxiety and panic attacks and stuff in my past. 
And some people have asked if doing shows brings back anxiety and panic attacks and everything. And to be honest, it doesn't. And this is the reason why I do compete is because competing makes me mentally stronger because it pushes me out of my comfort zone. And seriously, that is one of the biggest reasons why I do compete. It makes me have a goal, stick to it, succeed in my goal. And then it puts me into this position where I'm being judged on stage by people. It is nerve wracking. Like I'm not gonna, not gonna lie. Of course I'm gonna be nervous on the day, but that high that I get from stepping off stage by accomplishing something that once, you know, a few years ago, I would have never have been able to do. That is what keeps me coming back to competing, I guess, because every time I compete, I grow within myself stronger, more confident, and also I learn so much more about myself. So that is the whole reason why I compete. It's not the glitz and the glamour. It's not about getting down to like a ridiculous amount of body fat percentage. I don't even know what my body fat percentage is. Like people ask like, what's your pinches? And you know, how much do you weigh? And I don't concentrate on all of that. If I can see myself in the mirror and compare myself to how I was a few weeks ago and I have grown, that is enough measurement for me. Or if I know my head is mentally stronger than I was a few weeks ago, I have grown as a person. I don't need no centimeters or scales to tell me that I'm on track or anything like that. So I just wanted to just give this message to you to say that I don't do this for the glitz and the glamour or getting down to a ridiculous amount of body fat percentage. It's all about personal development, growth, confidence for me, and also proving that vegans can do it better. As well. So I'm just on my way to go and get my eyebrows done. I'm going to go get my eyebrows tinted and waxed. And I'm also going to go get my nails done for the comp as well. I haven't had my nails done probably since high school. Like literally have not had fake nails since then. But yeah, let's go get my nails done and my eyebrows done. <laughs> Guys, when your parents have, like, miss you, I think. I don't know. They've seriously bought, like, ten different outfits for the dogs. <laughs> They're little jumpers. Look, Look at it. He's a chicken. <laughs> Tonky's a panda. Look at him. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I've just gotten home from during, getting my nails done. Nails did. Nails did. So, I went with, like, it's just called a French ombre look. And it's got, like, glitter on them. And then I got these, so I can never say this word, Sharofsky crystals on just those two. And then I also got it on that one as well. And it was so lovely to meet the girl who did my nails. So, she uses all cruelty-free vegan products. And she actually watches our channel and follows us on Facebook, which was so lovely. Also, I got my eyebrows done as well they're actually quite dark at the moment because she's left like the dye on it for a bit longer but i'm gonna go have a shower and wash them out and yeah super happy so we're currently on our way to jd's parents because we're gonna go and use their sauna i have been doing saunas the last couple of weeks because i find that they're really good at helping me dry out obviously if you sweat out water it's gonna make you dry out. So this is why I have been introducing saunas the last couple of weeks. I feel like they're definitely helping. It's just making your skin go a lot grainier and nice and thin. So we're getting rid of that intramus, water. like the water that's in between her muscles and her outer layer of skin. Yeah. That makes sense. So we're just trying to shred it all so that the skin is like tight to the muscle. So then it shows the muscle more. exciting part of the comp. <laughs> We're off to the shops right now to go and grab all our post comp treaties. <laughs> so I've written like a big long list of everything that I want and obviously I'm not going to eat it all that night but just want you know things that I can just grab if I feel like that. I'm going to have that. Another example of why this sport is so unhealthy because you go and binge after. <laughs> it is. But 
so good. All in moderation. It's all worth it. And I will be reverse dieting out of this, guys. I have plans to go back to the gym on Tuesday. So I'll be having at least three days off the gym for the comp. And yeah, I'll be back at the gym on Tuesday, ready to smash it again and making sure that I'm easing back into my training, obviously keeping my weights light, just keeping some cardio in as well because I have been doing so much cardio. I'm not just going to just completely cut cardio altogether. Her <laughs> cop just like Jay walked in front of me and I went naughty naughty. But yeah, I will be reverse dieting out of this and like reverse training as well, but obviously going to be indulging and enjoying myself for like at least three days yeah. so let's go to the shops guys and go and pick up some really good vegan food got our favorite biscuits they're the amy's day. favorite for the day but i like them anyway and and that coconut yogurt. Yogurt. So these were 40 percent off cheap cheap amy kate's favorite candy get them too God, you're going all out. Oh, my favorite aisle. Do I go over the moo? Do I go, I've already got that one. It's Halo Top, no, not today. There it is. <laughs> that was fun. We have fun. I'm so excited, guys. I'm just having some, just having some arrowroot cookies right now because I am carving up today. Today I'm kind of doing a bit of a mimic of what I'll be doing tomorrow. So I'll have oats for breakfast, my oats for breakfast, and then my second meal will be like a couple of cookies here and there throughout the day. And then I'll be having littler meals of like tofu and just some steamed potatoes, carving up throughout the day and making sure that I'm not getting, having anything heavy or that will bloat me. So I actually haven't showed you guys much of what I'm eating this week, only because every day was like slightly different. So it has been quite boring, bland meals. I have had things like fruit and tofu, asparagus, protein shakes, like that's basically it. Like it's been very bland and boring. At the start of the week, I had to have lower carb and then I've had to bring my carbs up slightly towards the end of the week. And by doing this, the only things I've added in is my arrowroot biscuits, having a couple of those to carb up during the week and also just adding in more proats as well of the quinoa flavor. Now, I just made up a big batch of this. Easy, I'm just going to have some of this and I'm just going to make up some potatoes, some steamed potatoes to go. So I've just gotten home from getting my base coat done. So this is just kind of like a normal dark spray tan, but I have to sleep in it tonight. It is quite dark, but oh my god, so much better than the last one that I got. It's very even still, not blotchy like my last one. If you guys watched our last one, it was like all over my hands and I was freaking out. But this one's really, really good. But I'm just in the process of packing my bag. So I thought I might as well show you guys a little bit of the things that I am taking tomorrow. So first things first, guys, is my heels. So I've got my heels all packed nicely in there. I've got just a towel just for, I don't know, just any reasons if I want to sit on or just like if I've smudged myself or anything. For the day to eat, I've got two of these salt and vinegar rice cakes. So that's going to be my salt for the day if I need it. My crunchy peanut butter. And I've also got some strawberry jam. This is really good for allowing you to get a really good pump because it's quick carbs and it's also a quick hit of of sugar as well so I'll have that that on either my rice cakes or my little cookie stash here so I've got some gluten-free biscuits I've got the arrowroot ones and then I've also got some of these scotch fingers as well so very dry foods guys very high carb foods nothing that's gonna bloat me I've got my white shoes so these are for when I do the sports model that you have to provide your own shoes they provide your outfit actually I need to put socks in there got my bless shirt because I want to get some photos for these guys a knife to put on my peanut butter and jam and then I've got my suit in here so she's all washed and ready for tomorrow and then I'm also just wearing the same jewelry I wore last time as well so these earrings which are also really sparkly I've got just a robe in there just to pop on afterwards or like when I'm waiting around and then in here is kind of like my tools 
So I've got some scissors, I've got some safety pins, I've got nail polish, um, nail glue, eyelash glue, and also just like hair clips as well. So that's just kind of like an emergency kit there. You want to be able to have everything on hand. Another tip if you are going to compete and you're staying in a hotel, make sure that you bring extra towels and extra spare sheets that you don't mind getting dirty because you will ruin the hotel sheets because that's what we did last time we made sure we had sheets with us so that's pretty much everything that i'll be packing i'll go through it one more time but we're all ready to go guys so next time you see us we will be on our way to brisbane very excited tomorrow morning it's finally it's calm. finally here it's gonna be epic so thank you guys so much for all your love and support throughout this whole journey seriously it means the world to me it means the world to both of us but if you like this video, remember to give it a big thumbs up, guys. It really supports our channel. And subscribe if you haven't already. Hit the alert button so you get notified every time that we upload. But I'll see ya in the, in the next show, baby.